Hello YouTube. Um, I decided to do a video on, I guess, goat milking mm -hmm. basics because that was something we had to learn a lot about pretty quickly. So the first thing I guess would be, what do you feed them? Um, what we do is I have a three quart scoop here and this is good for two does and I give them one whole scoop of the Purina goat chow. Less than the one quart measure. I don't know if you can see in there, one and two quarts is measured of alfalfa pellets. The same thing of black oil sunflower seeds. And usually you'll get these in a bag that's labeled for like bird feed. Um, they don't make them for goats. And about one quart of calf manna which is an expensive feed, but if we don't feed them this rationing of feed, the milk production would be the same. So if you only have a few goats or you're just milking, you know, just to have a little bit of milk to drink, then I wouldn't worry about this. Um, but if you're depending on the milk, as your only source of milk for a family and you want to make soap and cheese and stuff like that then mix the best feed that you can find. The second thing is the things you'll use while you're actually milking and we only use three. I get teat wipes and I buy them in a big container. I think you get like 900 of them for about 20 bucks and Utter bomb. Just it's been around forever. But this is good if they get uh like their teats or the milk bag is chapped or uh just dry skin or anything like that. And this is a foaming teat dip spray um that we use. You just squeeze it up and the cup will fill up with teat dip and you dip each teat. This will help prevent mastitis. Another thing you want to have is a strip cup um, and you can get them with screens or with this black lid here and this will help you to see if there's any clumps or chunks or anything wrong with the milk you're going to know. Um, so let me get a little bit in there. You just need to shake it around, make sure that the milk looks good. Are you recording? Okay. Milk in a goat isn't quite the same as a cow. You want to get the teat up high and pinch it. Can you see my hand there? Pinch it like that to pop the milk from going back up. And then you just close these fingers. So every time you're milking, you're opening your hand, letting some more milk come down, pinching that off, squeezing. Now this dough has pretty small udders, so you have to get her kind of high, high up where you're actually touching the milk bag. Go ahead, shut it off. This uh, teat dip we buy is foaming teat dip, and you actually use a lot less of this than just the regular stuff. Um, you just squeeze it until the cup fills. And then dip each teat. And if you uh, if you're gonna be milking just in the like morning because the babies are still on the does, then you might wanna <coughs> leave this on for little bit and then take another wipe and wipe it off um, just so the babies aren't sucking that off because it does have iodine in it and uh, try not to get any up on the bag because we've had babies run around with little red spots on their head um, 